enough to see you once again this afternoon. Seeing you smile in your faces. With that simple smile, that's the start of opening your heart and being compassionate to others. I hope every one of you passed your examinations the second quarter as I did. Without further ado, a pleasant afternoon to each and every one. What a day it is to celebrate! We have all come here today to have the first ever virtual recollection with a theme valuing oneself. Who am I? But before we officially start, may I ask everyone to put their phones in silent mode, sit back, relax, and enjoy the activities provided for you all. Recollection means recollecting our thoughts, concerns, priorities from the demands of the world and placing them in God's hands. It is the time of reordering our time, commitments, priorities, and reminding ourselves to put God first above all else. It is also the time of reviewing our fidelity in our duty to God, sacraments, and to living fully our moral life in Christ. It is imperative, therefore, that we must spend some silent time alone with God each day, and that we try to stay recollected in God's presence even when we are busy working or recreating. Let us not also forget the main objectives of this virtual recollection that provide important reflection time for students like us to reconnect with the passion that drives our purpose and help us students identify the challenges in life and find new ways to overcome them. To formally begin the program, let us give thanks and praise to our Father for making this day possible and for guiding us with His presence throughout the years we have all been together. Let us welcome J.V. D. Tanhoko, a grade 4 student for the invocation to be followed by the singing of the Philippine National Anthem and Saudi hymn to be conducted by J.C. Cortez, grade 5 amethyst. May we request everyone to please rise. There is something in our school that makes us thankful for this dedication and responsibility in the way she generates the best of interest of her people. On this note, it is with pride and honor to please welcome the highly esteemed and highly performing OIC for academics, Ms. Maria Elenita M. Lunaria, for her opening remarks and for our introducing our guest of honor and speaker for this year's recollection. Thank you very much, Ms. Lunaria. What a message to ponder! Another resonating applause to our very supportive OIC academic principal. To award the certificate of recognition to our guest of honor and speaker, may I request Sir Gerald Delos Reyes, Grade 6, Diamond Advisor. Once again, Thank you so much, Sir Errol John Heeson Garcia, for sharing your knowledge to everyone. May the Lord bless you this year and the coming more years. To formally close this momentous event, may we request Sir Roger T. Chavez, Prefect of Discipline, Boys Section, for his closing remarks. Thank you very much, Sir Roger, for that closing remark. May we request Nathan Ablang, a grade 5 student, for the closing prayer. Please rise. Please remain standing for the singing of the PCIS hymn to be conducted by J.C. Cortez. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that wraps up our afternoon. On behalf of the working committee, headed by Miss Victoria Tanhoko, our activity and clubs coordinator. Thank you all for making time in your busy schedules to join us here this afternoon. And to Sir Don for being our mentor in this event. Thank you for guiding us to do the hosting. 
He highly appreciated and learned a lot from you. Always remember, comparing ourselves to others is a losing battle. Not only do we look for things we lack, but we find ourselves in the feeling of lack. Unless you have been in their shoes, you don't like the way that they do and gone through their experiences. You are comparing yourself to information that can in no way be accurate. Comparing that takes the focus of you and onto that person, yet your power lies in things you can affect in your life. You are a unique being and there is nobody in the world like you. And also, don't forget to let go of or at least distance yourself from anything that causes you to feel less than good. Find yourself in the presence of people who bring something significant into your life. Make it a point to have at least two people who feed your spirit. Encourage your dreams and accept you for who you are. No alteration. Cultivating strong. Nurturing bonds encourages us to remember we are not alone and keeps our hearts open. It's been our pleasure to host this event, and we wish you all a pleasant day. Once again, this is Alan Flores, Grade 6 Dino. And this is Sean Perez, Grade 5 Amethyst. Signing off.